check out my Corona twist. <laughs> not doing my hair since I'm not leaving the house. So, twist it all up. But that's neither here nor there. Let's get into the video. <laughs> Elise here from Just Things with Elise. Welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. I'm back. I'm working on it. I had such good consistency last year and I'm trying to get it back this year. But anywho, today's video is going to be me and my husband doing a revamp, a refresh of our guest bathroom. Uh, we already did a few things that I did not record. <laughs> And I'm just going to take you all with us while we do the last steps of this phase. We have like three or four phases that we're doing to fully redo the bathroom. Uh, so this is like phase two, maybe two and a half. But hopefully you like what you see. What have you all been doing to buy the time while you're on quarantine? Let me know down in the comments. But without further ado... Let's check out this refresh. Part two or three of us redoing our guest bathroom. We've already redid the cabinets, no footage of it. <laughs> we painted the walls, no footage of it. But I do have a before picture that my husband took of the walls. So I can put that in so y'all can see what it looked like before. This is called City White by Bear. It looks kind of purple to me, but I found out my eyeballs don't work. So, <laughs> does it look great to you? And the red from this curtain isn't helping reflecting onto it, so it makes it look purple even more to me. But let's see, and then, so like this wall, I can see that it's gray through the camera. But looking at it with my naked eye, it looks lavender to me. It's a personal issue that I have to work with in my life. <laughs> I don't remember what color this is on the cabinets. And it was something called like almost black or something like that. But it's a really, really dark brown. And yeah. So now my husband is measuring out where to put the shelves and I just put this tape up to estimate where I wanted them to be. He's leveling it out now and I'll show y'all once we actually get started. These are the brackets that we're going to use for the shelves. We got them from Home Depot. I want to say they were 12 something a piece. Here's the information. You're interested but I like the industrial look of shelf brackets I think it'll go with the colors in here pretty good ready to see what it looks like minor butterflies you should open up I'm trying to put your heart together found it broken up Going up the smoke, smoking up. Make sure the children in the house, she's inappropriate. The way she's approaching us, I disassociate. Exfoliate, the renegotiate. She's closing up. Come to visit me, she said that she the loneliest. And it's hard to open up. Need to deep breathe, hard and complication. Open up. You OPN, bitch, you won't be BM. We should be close and friends. If you OPN, uh, engaging you's on my agenda. Request my chariot to get ya. The door's OPN. Uh, take that high road and hop in. Uh. Open up, up. Uh, open up. Uh, shut it down like a back guitar. Open up, open up. Uh, OPN, OPN. Cold as ice and cold love. Uh, open up.
had to put real pants on because we had to make a run to Home Depot to get some more screws. But now we're back at it. About to put these things up. Well, finish drilling them together to the brackets. Then putting them up on the wall. So, stay tuned. Here's my real pants. And my dog running all over the place. <laughs> Top board ended up being ridiculously warped, so we had to make do. <laughs> uh, it ended up being shorter than the other ones because of the warpness. So we centered it instead of lining it up like the other ones. But it looks good through the video, at least. Can't really tell. I like it. Alrighty, so we are back in the bathroom. This is day two. Um, my husband did some touch-ups on the shelf with the paint and on the cabinets so I waited on the shelves to redry before I put anything on them so just waited overnight this is the next morning <laughs> close to afternoon I think it is actually the afternoon unimportant we are gonna start decorating the shelf now and I just shopped the house with stuff that I bought for this bathroom already that I was just waiting for us to put the shelves up and just random stuff that we had, random decorations and everything that we had. So let's get started putting this stuff up and I'll show you everything that I have also. All right, so for stuff that was just normally already on the counter, I'm putting these cotton balls and Q-tips on there and I got those from Dollar Tree when we first moved in. Uh, so that was in 2017, but I think they do still sell them. I'm gonna keep the paper towel roll up here for now. We have a towel that goes up here, but it's in the laundry, so we have paper towels for right now. I don't know if I'm gonna put the air freshener up there or not. It's not cute. <laughs> uh, but we're working on function, not all the way just cuteness. Uh, I have these towels that I got from Target a while ago, actually, uh, during one of their like bedding and bathroom sales. Uh, they're all from Opal House and they are ridiculously soft. Then I have this plant that I got a while ago also from Michael's back at one of their clearances, like one of the end of season clearances. This is from a gift set that my sister got me and I'm gonna use these items out of the gift set up on the shelf just to make it look a little Fancy, a little cuter. And again, this is what the shelf is looking like right now. So let's get to decorating.
so here is the finished product. Excuse the haunted house door. <laughs> so since I didn't have anything else to put on the top shelf just yet, I just put the plant in the middle and spread it out. I was hoping that I could fit all three of those tiles right there, but they are ridiculously big as I said. So I just put the other one with the other tiles. And I refilled the cotton balls. We are out of Q-tips. Uh, hopefully they are in stock when we go to the store due to the current situations happening. And yeah, then the little items out of the gift set from my sister. Just for added a little something. And yes, people who visit, you can use all of this stuff. It's not just for decoration. Use it. Don't mess with the plant though. <laughs> I brought this rack out of our bathroom because it makes more sense in here for guests to put their towels on since there's not really anywhere else to put them. Uh, my husband made this art piece Zoom in so you can see it better. The original design by William Tatum III. He's a graphic designer slash artist. So if you have any needs for graphic designer or just artists in general, definitely contact him. I will have his information in the description box. Uh, we received these towels for our wedding. They look kind of gross <laughs> through the camera, but they do not look like that in person, I promise. Uh, but my brother and sister-in-law gave us these towels for our wedding, so we use them in here for decoration. Decoration. <laughs> and then there's a matching towel that goes with that that we use for the hand towel, which you can use. My husband also made this sign. And yeah, that's it. That's the whole bathroom. The next things that I want to do in order is to put a frame around this mirror, get a new light fixture, a new faucet. We're going to get new, whatever this is called, bathroom accessories. So the towel rack, the toilet, I mean tissue holder, and this towel rack, we're replacing those. And big, big goals is refinishing the tub enclosure and the tub itself. And yeah, that's it. I know there's a lot, but that's it. Well, also the countertop, that's it. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to be it for this video. I do want to thank you guys for checking back in with me after all this time. If you are new to this channel, please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button as well as the little bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. I would definitely appreciate that. And if you did like this video, go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up. It actually does mean something. <laughs> And if you did not see my last video that I posted earlier, my very first video of this year, definitely check that out. I'm going to have it linked at the end of this video for you to see. And let me know if you relate to what that video is about as well. But that's going to be it. I will see y'all later. Love ya. Miss ya. Bye y'all.